I never thought it would happen to me. Tom Dukes was the picture of health, an energetic 52-year-old sales executive in Lomita, California, who worked out four hours a day until late last year when he was rushed to the hospital in agonizing pain. An hour later, he was on the operating table. I thought, you know, I, I might just be saying goodbye. That was my last thought. Dukes awoke to a shocking reality. Surgeons had to repair a hole in his abdomen caused by a raging E. coli infection developed after eating contaminated meat. This form of E. coli was much more aggressive because it had several genetic mutations making it resistant to antibiotics. Everything was getting, you know, progressively worse quickly. Dukes' story concerns infectious disease doctors like Brad Spellberg, author of Rising Plague. These organisms are the experts at resistance. He says more infections are starting out as bacteria in food or other ordinary places and evolving into deadly drug-resistant superbugs. It is starting to move out of the hospitals and into the communities. And what happens to those people? We're at a point where we may have to start admitting tens of thousands of women with simple urinary tract infections to the hospital. Because that infection has outsmarted the pills? Yep. Because the E. coli that causes most urinary tract infections is becoming resistant. Health officials say that resistance is growing, especially among these five deadly bacteria. Virtually all of them carry genes that prevent antibiotics from working, and these genetic mutations are spreading. Another reason for these lethal strains, the overuse of antibiotics. A recent study finds more than 60% of antibiotics prescribed are unnecessary. It's a crisis that touches every country on the globe, touches people of all socioeconomic classes, all races. It doesn't represent the compounds that we're making. John Rex is the head of drug development for AstraZeneca, one of only a few pharmaceutical companies still devoting resources for new medicines to cure these lethal bugs. The trick is to find something that kills the bacteria but doesn't hurt you or me. Developing a new antibiotic takes at least 10 years and costs as much as $1.7 billion. Drug companies make more money creating medicines people take every day for chronic conditions like high blood pressure, insomnia, or sexual dysfunction. Do you consider this a grave public health crisis? Yeah, this is a convergence of two public health crises, skyrocketing antibiotic resistance and dying antibiotic development. I was extremely fatigued. I was mentally exhausted. It took four months and several drugs for Tom Dukes to finally beat his infection. But he says he'll never completely recover. I think about it every day. Because if it hadn't worked, I wouldn't be here. For more information or to see our first report on superbugs, you can go to cbsnews.com.